Hello, and welcome to the first video in the Intro to Organic Chemistry series. Today we'll be talking about how to name alkanes and different structures and formulas you can write them with, including molecular formula, completed structural formula, condensed structural formula, and line formula. To start off, what is an alkane? Well, an alkane is a molecule that contains carbon and hydrogen atoms combined only using single bonds. These molecules are named based on the number of carbon atoms it contains. If the alkane contains one carbon atom, it's methane, two is ethane, three is propane, and four is butane. After butane, you name alkanes similarly like you name shapes. So, an alkane with five carbon atoms would be called pentane, just like you would call a five-sided shape a pentagon, because penta means five. So six carbons would be hexane, seven would be heptane, eight would be called octane, nine would be nonane, and lastly, if it contains ten carbon atoms, it would be decane. Now we're going to find the molecular formula. The generic way to express the molecular formula for these alkanes would be CnH2n plus 2. Let's use this to write the formula for hexane. C would be 6 because hexane contains 6 carbon atoms and H would be 14 because 2 times 6 plus 2 would be 14. So C6H14 would be the molecular formula for hexane. Next, we got the completed structural formula. Let's use hexane for this example. Previously, we found out that the molecular formula for hexane is C6H14. Using this, we'll start this off by drawing, or in my case animating, six letter C's with lines connecting them. These represent the single bonds connecting the carbon atoms. Now let's draw more lines sticking out and attach hydrogens to them. When you're done with that, you have drawn the completed structural formula of hexane. Notice that each carbon has four bonds, and when you fill the outer ones with hydrogens, you'll get 14 hydrogen atoms, just like in the formula. Now keep this image fresh because it's useful in writing the next formula. Moving on, we have the condensed structural formula. Using the completed structural formula we previously made, we are now going to write the condensed structural formula for hexane. As you can see, the first carbon is bonded to three hydrogens, so we write CH3. Then the next one is only bonded to two hydrogens, so we write CH2. The next three carbons are also bonded to two hydrogens, so we write CH2, CH2, CH2. And because our last carbon atom is bonded to three hydrogens, we finish it up by writing CH3. So our final product is CH3, CH2, 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 CH3. Lastly, I'm going to teach you how to express alkanes using the line formula. This is the simplest way to express alkanes. And you guessed it, we're going to use hexane as our example. First draw six dots in this pattern. Then connect the dots with lines. You're done! It's that simple! Each dot represents a carbon atom and every line represents a single bond. If you draw methane using the line formula, it will only be a single dot because there is only one carbon atom and there are no bonds between the carbons. Anyways, that's how you name alkanes and express them in molecular formula, completed structural formula, condensed structural formula, and line formula. Thanks for watching and I hope you learned something new today.